Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day with Pragmatic Works. I'm Christopher Furless, Senior Principal Consultant over here, and today what I'd like to talk to you about is how and when to scale up or scale out with Azure Analysis Services, right? So first let's talk about the different tiers. You've got a developer tier, which will give you up to uh, 20 QPUs or query processing units. You've got a basic tier, uh, which you know is is sort of a, a mid scale. Um, so really, yeah, um, if you've got a heavy load, it's it's not going to do what you need it to. Um, and then you get your standard tier, which allows you uh, more capability and flexibility. Uh, and so you know, if you look at what the the QPU capabilities are for each of the tiers um, by by checking them out on Azure, then uh, it should give you a good idea of what you should be using out of the gate. Um, but what I want to talk about is, is when you should scale up your queries or when you should scale out your processing, right? So, um, you know, when you, when you need to scale up, it just means that your, your reports are slow. Uh, so you're reporting out of Power BI and, and uh, just the, the throughput really isn't working for what your needs are. Um, and, and really what you're doing is you're adding more resources. The QPU is, is a combination of, of your uh, CPU and memory and some other factors, right? How many users, those kinds of things, right? Um, and the, the memory checks are pretty easy. If you're running out of memory, it's pretty straightforward, right? So if you run the, uh, the metrics in the Azure portal, uh, you can check and see what your memory usage is, if, if your memory limit high or your memory limit hard settings are being saturated, then you know you need to upgrade um, you know, either your tier or just the level within the tier you're currently in. Um, now, the CPU bottlenecks are a little tougher to, to figure out um, but, you know, at least you can kind of get an idea, right? So you're going to uh, start by watching your QPUs and see if you're saturating those. Uh, again, using those uh, metrics and looking at the logs within Azure portal. Um, and then um, <clears throat> a couple of things you want to watch are, are your processor pool job queue length and your processing pool busy slash non IO threads. Um, and, and when you're looking at these, you should get an idea of, of how it's performing, right? And for the most part, you're going to want to scale up when the processing engine is taking too long to process the data in order to build your models, okay? The time you're going to want to scale out is your, if you're having problems with responsiveness with reportings because the, re, the reporting um, requirements are saturating what you currently have available to you. Uh, there may be a need for both, but in a lot of cases by scaling out and um, adding additional nodes, right? So it, typically in cases where you have a large number of users, right? You can um, add an additional replica which um, can go up to seven additional replicas. Um, they're read-only query replicas that you can report off of, but the processing is handled on the primary or initial uh, instance of Azure Analysis Services, and the subsequent uh, queries are being handled as part of these query replicas. So any processing is not affecting the responsiveness of the reports. So. Um, what it does is, you know, after it separates those um, the model processing from the query engine, um, you know, you can then measure um, the performance by by uh, watching the log, log analytics and uh, query processing units and, and seeing how they're performing. Uh, if you're still saturating those, again, you need to make that uh, evaluation as to whether you need uh, additional QPUs or to upgrade your your tiers, right? Um, once you've processed your data, of course, you have to resynchronize it across all of those queries, right? So, um, you know, it's just something to uh, keep in mind that if you're going to be processing data throughout the day, it's probably a good idea not only to run these queries, um, but to uh, strategically uh, synchronize th those queries as well. Um, but I will say that to scale out, it does require standard edition, so the basic and developer edition will not work for this uh, purpose. Uh, and, and so it's the highest tier that you can get currently in Azure Analysis Services, uh, so keep that in mind, right? 
Now, um, there are quite a few interesting resources out there that allow you to auto scale, right? Um, they'll base it on a schedule um, using a PowerShell runbook. Um, and what it does is it uses your Azure automation account to um, schedule when it's going to scale up or scale out based on uh, the, the needs of the environment. So if you know that on Monday mornings, you know you're going to need additional processing power in order to run those queries efficiently, uh, you'll probably wanna set something up for Monday mornings. Um, and then you can scale it back. Now, you can scale up to a higher tier uh, so you can go from developer to basic or basic to standard, um, but you cannot scale those back um, automatically, okay? So if you're running a script, um, so keep that in mind. Um, and, you know, basically um, with that ability, it allows you to uh, be prepared for additional requirements um, in that environment. So, um, you know, we love Azure Analysis Services. We think it's a great tool here at Pragmatic Works, and uh, and we'd love to have a conversation about it. If you have additional questions, uh, you know, please feel free to reach out to us by clicking the link below or or get in touch with us through uh, our contact information on our website. And happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.